thrifts over, 150 runs short of victory. The decision to rest Mark Taylor and recall Marsh to open backfired when the West Australian was out to Hadley in the first over. One for one wasn't exactly a great start, but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise when Jones came to the crease. Delightful stroke by Dean Jones. With no signs of panic in the Australian camp, the Kiwi attack took a hammering from Boone and Jones. Very fine. Richard Hadley won't get there. Jones was the first to bring up his 50, and on the next ball, Boone did likewise. The two put together a 145-run partnership until the nuggety Tasmanian eventually fell for 67. Like that one, he's been caught by Martin Crowe. When war and border went cheaply, O'Donnell made amends belting two huge sixes. There's a big one, he didn't quite get hold of it. It's over! But the hero of the innings was Jones. 100, Dean Jones. Jones and Crow made a solid start to New Zealand's chase of 245. The run rate slowed, however, when two wickets fell in the first 10 overs. Fielding in the outer, O'Donnell found the Christchurch version of Bay 13. The look on Merv's face said it all. But the Kiwi fans may have overdone it in helping O'Donnell loosen up. Very close, he's gone. The Victorian went on a rampage dismissing Rutherford, Thompson and Larson in the space of eight runs. The onslaught continued when Border chipped in with a sensational catch. In the air, brilliantly taken. That is almost the catch of the season. Alan Border. O'Donnell came back to send Bracewell on his way with a delivery that can only be described as unique. It wasn't the bean ball, the complete surprise delivery. Can you believe it, Simon O'Donnell? I'm almost embarrassed. O'Donnell's fifth wicket came when man of the match Dean Jones took a smart catch, and in the 25th over, it was... Only a heavy loss would keep New Zealand out of the finals. But even with Alan Border on the sidelines, the Kiwis weren't taking any chances as acting captain Jeff Marsh found out. Seeing Jones continued his devastating form, but the rain interrupted his run pillage and he wasn't pleased. Over, while Taylor also attacked any loose deliveries until he lost his concentration and the Aussies were two for 61 in the 15. Larson. But the run still flowed steadily with Jones reaching his 50. Lovely way to bring up the 50 for Dean Jones. Soon after, 38-year-old Richard Hadley had sweet revenge on the Victorian, showing great reflexes. A fine catch, that one. O'Donnell lifted the run chase in the 37th with the help of a huge six. New Zealand was set a target of five runs and over for victory and skipper John Wright let loose hammering Hughes for successive boundaries. And then the Aussies knew they were in for a fight on and off the field. As the home team raced to 78 off just 14 overs, the Aussies had their first chance of a breakthrough, but in a terrible mix-up, the catch went begging. Oh, it's a terrible bungle. Then one run short of an opening century partnership, Peter Taylor struck with the vital scalp of Wright. Rain then stopped play, reducing the match to 40 overs. When the clash recommenced, Great Batch was caught behind. And caught by Ian Healy. But the weather was always going to rob the fans of a thrilling finish. Play was called off with six overs remaining. Dean Jones was man of the match. The Aussies again take on New Zealand in the winner-take-all final tomorrow.